What's going on, everyone? It is Dan at Tech Marketer coming at you with this week's newsletter. So uh, I had a really interesting question come up last week that I wanted to dive into here. Pretty simple, um, but call forwarding inside of Twilio, right? So if someone calls your Twilio texting number, uh, being able to forward that to, say, your office number or your cell phone or, or whatever. So uh, it's actually very easy to set up inside of Twilio if you know where to go to do it. And I will show you how to do it. So I got to this page here by coming to the main console and then clicking on explore products. This will take you to this page right here. When you scroll down underneath developer tools, you're going to see functions and assets. And you can always pin any of this stuff here too. So it comes up on your sidebar, um, but it's not likely that you're going to need this super, super often. So functions and assets, go ahead and click on that guy there. And then over on the left-hand side, you're going to go to functions classic and then list. And that is going to take you to this empty list that doesn't have any functions in it. So what you are going to do is create a function and call forward. Very simple so far. And then you're going to get this screen that you're not really going to know what any of it is, but that's okay because there's only two things on the screen that you're going to need to know. One is this right here is this path. So it's just going to give it a path name. So I'm just going to do forward call right? It's just the name of it. Call forward, forwards call, whatever. Something simple that you'll be able to see because you will need to find that path name again shortly. And then on line 13, this number to forward to, you're going to get rid of all of that. And I'm going to type in my number here with the country code. So the plus one and the area code, please don't sign me up for a bunch of uh, texting services. So there is, that's the only two things that you need to know on this page. Click save. Done. You're done with this part now. Now you go into your phone numbers and you manage your phone numbers of your active ones here. So any of them that has this little voice piece here. So this will only work for numbers that are not, the voice is not hosted elsewhere, like a ring central, a light speed voice, whatever. So here is one that has an open a uh, voice hosting via Twilio. So now you come down here in this voice configuration, right? So we have it set for this to go through and, and open up the the API, or, you know, via the API, open up uh, uh, agency zoom, sorry, brain fart there for a second. But another thing that you can do is instead of a webhook, you can use a function. Default service, now the path. Remember that thing that we just named a second ago? Forward call. So now if I save this, any calls to this number, even if it's just a texting number, any calls to it will ring the number that I typed in on that line 13. So for instance, this would be my cell phone. So again, very short, very sweet, very easy to do. Um, I know there's some use cases for people who have, you know, who maybe have a, a number that they get through Twilio because they need to text inside of agency zoom for whatever reason, and they can't get it with their, their VoIP provider. So you can have a texting number. And then also, if anybody rings that number, have it automatically set to ring an office number, a cell phone number, whatever. Uh, so that way you can let all your clients know, hey, this is the number I use for texting, but you can call this number and it'll go to my office, you know, something simple like that. So very cool, simple little thing that I just uh, discovered here that I thought might be beneficial to a few of you. If it wasn't, let me know. If it is, also, please let me know. And I look forward to talking to you all again next week. Have a good one.